What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I am the Malt Activist, and today is day two of three of our exclusive Macallan tasting. So, our last video, we reviewed the Macallan, A Night on Earth, which we did not like. No, 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 we did not like that at all. However, I have an open mind. I am not going to prejudge anything. So, I'm still quite excited about tasting this Macallan Lumina, which is one step above the Macallan Quest. So, yes, the Macallan Lumina. Before we begin, let me remind you of our awesome subscriber giveaway. We're giving away not one, not two, not three, but four Aaron Quarter casks to four lucky winners as soon as we hit that magical number of 2,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber and you're liking the content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because every little thing helps. And who knows, you might win yourself a brand new bottle of my Whiskey of the Year 2021, the Aaron Quartercask. Alrighty then, so what do we know about this Lumina? We know that it's part of the Macallan Quest series, okay? We know that it's bottled at a very weird 41.3%? Huh, 41.3% ABV. I don't understand that. I mean, either make it a base 40 or 43 or 46, but just going 1.3% above the bare minimum, uh, I don't know. Like what, what happened? Someone was sitting there going, oh, this is not good at 40%. This is not even good at 41%. Mm, it's too much at 42%. Let's bring it down. Mm -mm. I think 41.3. I'm guessing that's what happened. There's no other reason for this to be at a weird ABV, like 41.3%. Anyway, uh, what else do we know? We know that this is a mix of three casks. We have European oak and American oak, all seasoned with sherry. And then we have a sherry seasoned hogshead as well. So three different types of casks in play, all seasoned with sherry and bottled into this, you know, really nice sort of package if you ask me. I quite like this package, you know, you know. Very leafy, very green, very leafy. You know, lots of, lots of text in the back. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered to read this, it's too much. It's, it's a bit blah, blah, blah. So we won't read that. Uh, but we know, we know, uh, we know uh, all there is to know about this whiskey. Uh, and it costs about a hundred pounds. It's quite a bit, isn't it? Well, I mean, people people are still buying this stuff, so I guess they can price it any way they like. So it is what it is, man. Can't You can't really fault them for that. If people are willing to pay the price, then it is what it is. Now I know we trashed the uh, the the last Macallan we drank, A Night on Earth in Scotland, and I think rightly so because it was really, really, really not nice, honestly. And and I'm the kind of person who's like, you know, I, I always have an open mind. I don't prejudge anything, and I'll drink it and I'll call it the way it is. So believe me when I tell you it wasn't nice. I swear, man, it really wasn't nice. With this one, now I've all, already poured myself. A little dram and I've I've let it sit for about you know uh, five minutes or so letting it breathe I have slightly higher hopes for this because this is supposed to be a step above from the quest we've reviewed the Macallan quest I'm gonna put up a link now uh, which we didn't like also uh, but maybe we uh, you know hate this less than we hate the quest I don't know but we're gonna drink it first so, like I said, it's been sitting in the glass for a while and, you know, like most McCann's, the nose isn't so bad, even if it's a bit generic. If you know what I mean, it's just like a generic Speyside Highland whiskey with, with sort of a very basic maturation process. And I expect more, you know, I expect more complex notes and flavors from, from McCallan. Uh, at least I used to, uh, but uh, I guess it is what it is. 
the nose isn't so bad even if it's not perfect so we have we have honey we have vanilla we have some custard we have heavy cream we have some biscuits we have some cinnamon but right at the end at the tail end we have a hint of bitterness which mm, i'm not i'm not really like it so while this nose is um pleasant enough in a way uh, in a way to be generic and sort of drunk casually there is um, there is this telltale sign of uh, just that smidge of bitterness right at the end which is giving me a bit of anxiety if you ask me so do I hate the nose no I do not hate the nose I wish it was a little more complex it is a hundred pound whiskey uh, it is from McAllen the Rolls Royce of whiskeys uh, so I was, I, you know, I should be right, you know, to expect uh, something complex, something, you know, something nuanced. Uh, but no, what I'm going to get is a fairly generic run-of-the-mill dram, at least as far as the nose is concerned. And so to me right now, that's an immediate disappointment, uh, but it's also not a huge surprise. Um, you know, so like I said, it is what it is. It's not really a bad nose, uh, but it's it's a nose, you know. At least it's a nose. So I'm okay with that. All right, so I guess there's nothing left for me to do but dance. Chin chin. <laughs> you can see there's absolutely no grimace on my face because lack of flavors, I think and a fairly weak 41.3% in my opinion. Um, very light on the delivery. I see some orange, I see some vanilla, some woody spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, and some clove. And that's it. That's all there is uh, to this whiskey. Oh, maybe a drying oak towards the end. But that's about it. Uh, is it absolutely horrible? No, I don't think it's horrible. Uh, but it's not spectacular either. I think it's very, very, very average, quite generic. Am I absolutely disappointed? No. Uh, am I over the moon? No. It's one of those whiskeys that sort of make you completely indifferent. You know, if I was, if I, if I was at a party and somebody just handed me this glass and I sort of drank it, I wouldn't turn around and say, "Ooh, what whiskey is this?" I just keep on drinking it and then I'd forget about it and then I'd go drink something else and I'd completely forget about this whiskey and so that's what it is you know um, the strange thing is you know when I went online I, uh, I saw a lot of a lot of reviews that really really praising this whiskey and yeah very thin very thin and I saw a lot of reviews praising this whiskey and you know saying good things about it. So I was like, well, you know, everybody can't be wrong. But I knew at the back of my mind that there's something off. And when I drank it, I was like 100% sure that, okay, this is a very, very average whiskey and there's nothing remarkable, uh, remarkable about it. Which gets me thinking, why are there so many good reviews out there online for this whiskey? Are they, are they planted? You know, are... I don't know, are people, are people getting incentivized? Or just too many people like it and I'm, I'm in the minority. So I really don't know, you know? So if you go around, you know, looking up reviews on online, you, you're gonna get some fairly decent reviews of this whiskey and it might persuade you to part with whatever 100 pounds it is uh, selling for, if it is selling for 100 pounds. I've been reading comments that, you know, they're all up for auction now. So I don't even know what they're selling for on the on the secondhand market. So, um, but no, I don't think this is a whiskey worth buying at that price point, at least. Um, I think it's a very generic, okay to drink, very sort of C minus, you know, C minus. Uh, just a just average to below average in my opinion you know I remember I've drunk a lot of very 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 good McCallans and, uh, um, and that was back in the day uh, when uh, I, I got my hands on some old stock 
from somewhere. I, I was at a tasting at the distillery. I have some very, 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 um, a very generous friends. So I've tasted some exceptional Macallans and that those memories will always remain. And so I was convinced that yes, Macallan are the Rolls Royce of whiskeys. And so now when I sit down with this, you know, very generic sort of travel retail stuff that's packaged in, in extremely lovely boxes and you know, they've got these artist collaborations and stuff like that. Um, it, it, uh, it, it sparks that old memory of when McCallans were amazing. Like every McCallan you would drink was just amazing. And one of the, one of the most prominent thing about a good McCallan was the mouthfeel. It was like velvet. You know, the viscosity was just, mwah. it would coat your mouth. It would be an explosion of flavors and you drink it and your life would change. You were like, whoa, what a dram, what a dram. And you know, to just repeatedly drink lackluster whiskey after lackluster whiskey from this once great distillery, it's quite, quite sad, you know, and disappointing and disheartening if you ask me. But you know, um, I don't know if it's if it's a case of um, you know a profit over quality. Uh, there's just way too many people asking for way too many Macallans, and uh, and uh, you know by increasing production, uh, you know twice fold uh, that uh, they've uh, they've not managed to rein in rein in the proper quality assurance that I'm sure was paramount back in the day with this distillery. And so I don't know the real reason. Um, maybe they're, they're, they're uh, deliberately making whiskeys like this, which to the casual drinker are, you know, I hate using the word smooth, but smooth. But when I say smooth, I mean devoid of character, devoid of any real nuance. And people just drink it and they think, yeah, oh, this is what, what a good single malt whiskey should be about. Uh, you know, easy to drink, smooth, smooth, smooth. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe, and it, it seems to be working for them. You know, I'm in like the 0.001% of the, of the population that is sitting down here and, and you know, poking holes in the fabric of this, of this whiskey and just trying to, trying to dissect it and analyze it. And then, you know, uh, when I come up short, I get disappointed. But you know, there's people out there who are like, yeah, man, we like this whiskey and there's nothing wrong with this whiskey and we'll pay we'll pay 100 pounds for this whiskey. So, you know, who the hell are you? Shut the hell up, bro. And so that's what I feel, which is a weird feeling to have. I don't know. I don't like it. I think it's barely average. I was gonna say I expect more, but I think I've stopped expecting more. It is what it is. And um, if you if you concur with some of my some of my opinions, you know, if you've gone out there and bought something that I've said you should buy and you've liked it, then then don't buy this whiskey. But if you don't, then I think maybe you will like this whiskey because it's it's just so. Let's drink it. Let's just drink it, you know? Just drink it. Like, who cares? Just drink it. It doesn't matter. The nuance doesn't matter. The the explosion of flavors don't matter. The the viscosity and the mouthfeel doesn't matter. It's just it is what it is. I've said that a lot. It is what it is. Which is kind of like me resigning to the fact that, well, this I guess there's nothing we can <laughs> nothing we can do. So whoa. And um uh, and again, I'm glad. So Again, I, di I didn't buy this entire bottle. I have, I have my, I have my bottle split gang, who was kind enough to take part in this. I have six other, uh, six other friends who, who, uh, you know, who took part in this bottle split, uh, allowing me to, uh, to be able to get this at an affordable price, uh, so that I could review it. So shout out, and I hope I remember. Shout out to Rahul, Vamshi, Martin, Loy. Yash and Yazad. Woohoo! I remembered everybody. So thank you. Thank you for taking part in this bottle split so that I could get to taste this whiskey uh, at an affordable price. There you go. There you go. So that's that's my little rant 
obviously at the end of any McAllen video. And uh, I, I hope, I hope you took something away from it. Um, <laughs> I poured the last whiskey back in the bottle um, in the last video, but I'm not going to do that because it's, you know, it's all right. It's okay. Um, is it hundred pound? Okay. No, it's not. Uh, but if you don't care and if you have a hundred pounds to light on fire, go ahead, do that. Good luck to you, sir. It's your money. Uh, but I will spend my money elsewhere. So there you go. Wow. I'm exhausted, man. Reviews like this exhaust me when, when I'm like, when I'm disillusioned, you know, so, and disappointed. So, so I'm not going to go on and on, which is ironic because I've been going on and on for about 15 minutes now. So there, it, there it is. This is it. So this was, uh, this was whiskey. Uh, this was Macallan two out of three. We have one more whiskey to go. We have the classic cut to 2021 edition. I have a lot of hope and dreams for this one because I have a good story about an old school Macallan 10 car strength that I had, which set me on this journey of whiskey debauchery. So there you go. So thank you. Thank you for joining me for this whiskey review. I am the Malt Activist. Until next time, peace.